hour and a half, you are going to have a visitor. And the planet smiled, and I knew that we were going to have good luck. So with this, I want to introduce you our fearless leader, Charlie Bogan. Boy, I'll tell you, uh, Charles, thanks very much. First of all, just let me, let me say thanks very much to the entire team. And all the teams not here. Uh, some of the teams in places like Canberra, Australia, and up in Goldstone, because the Deep Space Network was what made it possible for us to be getting all the data and everything. So, you know, but today, right now, the wheels of curiosity have begun to blaze the trail for human footprints on Mars. Uh, curiosity, the most sophisticated rover ever built, is now on the surface of the red planet, where it will seek to answer age-old questions about whether life ever existed there on Mars, or if the planet can sustain life in the future. This is an amazing achievement made possible by a team of scientists and engineers from around the world and led by the extraordinary men and women of NASA and our Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Nothing in robotic planetary exploration is harder, more technically challenging, or as risky as landing on the surface of Mars. And I know most of you are saying, how can he be saying that? It just looks so easy. Uh, trust me. Historically, counting all the missions by all countries, the odds of success are about 40%. The recent U.S. record is better, with now six successful missions, including now four landings. And um, I'm going to spray from my script here for a moment, which is always dangerous. But tonight, uh, and I'm not going to, I'm not probably not going to include all the countries. But tonight, there are at least four countries, and I won't name them, uh, who are on Mars, and they're on Mars because they went with the United States. So. Uh, I, I know this may sound a little strange in this international environment, but I want everyone to understand what I say and what I mean when I say, you know, our leadership is going to make this world better. Uh, tonight, as, in, as incredible as our feat was tonight, uh, we just succeeded one more time in raising the bar even higher. New technologies never invented or attempted before were created for this incredible journey. Curiosity's final descent was dubbed Seven Minutes of Terror because in its seven-minute trip to the surface, it had to slow down from 13,000 miles an hour to zero. Uh, and I think you've heard this before. That's like driving 65 miles an hour on a freeway and coming to a complete stop in about 2.1 seconds. Hundreds of other things had to go just right including a parachute slowdown at supersonic speed, eight rocket engines to power a final descent and final soft landing by a new sky crane landing system. Curiosity will spend the next two years seeking answers to one of humanity's oldest questions as it investigates whether conditions have favored development of microbial life on the red planet. President Obama has laid out a bold vision for sending humans to Mars, and today's landing marks a significant step toward achieving this goal. And now it's my pleasure to introduce to you um, a very dear friend of mine. He is the President's Science Advisor, the, the Director of the Office of Science and Technology Policy, and a guy who was sweating through this. And uh, as he told me a little while ago, he thought he was going to throw up at one point. <laughs> and he's probably mad because I told you that, but my friend, Dr. John Holder. I wanted to start by saying thank you for sharing that, Charlie. <laughs> well, today on Mars, history was made on Earth. The successful landing of Curiosity, which is, as Charlie has said, the most sophisticated roving laboratory ever sent to another planet, marks what is really an unprecedented technological tour de force. It will stand as an American point of pride far into the future. It's also just the latest example of a long-standing truth about the United States, that even the longest of odds are no match for America's unique blend of technical acumen and gutsy determination. Our, and that's certainly for all of the folks at JPL, at Caltech, at NASA, and our partners whose instruments, as Charlie has pointed out, were on this, uh, this lander. Uh, thanks, big thanks are due uh, to all of them. Our 
continued preeminence and progress in space and here on Earth in other domains such as biomedicine and healthcare, clean energy, national security, advanced manufacturing, all of this depends on our continuing commitment to science, technology, and innovation, and the passion for adventure that has driven us to explore new worlds. By sustaining our investments in basic research and exploration, we ensure that America will remain at the forefront of the scientific frontier. So I really want to personally congratulate on behalf of myself, but also on behalf of my boss, President Obama, the team here at JPL at NASA and around the country that contributed to this spectacular achievement. I can only imagine what incredible data and new understandings are going to be uncovered in the coming days, months, and years because of this success. Landing the Mars Science Laboratory rover, Curiosity on the surface of the Red Planet, was by any measure the most challenging mission ever attempted in the history of robotic planetary exploration. And if anybody has been harboring doubts about the status of U.S. leadership in space, well, there's a one-ton automobile-sized piece of American ingenuity on the, <coughs> that is... <coughs> And it's sitting on the surface of Mars right now, and it should certainly put any such doubts to rest. President Obama has challenged America, as Administrator Bolden just said, to send humans to Mars in the 2030s. And Curiosity is going to provide critical information about the Red Planet and what our astronauts will find once they arrive. The administration is committed to a vibrant and coordinated strategy of Mars exploration and planetary exploration more generally, and continuing America's leadership here on Earth and throughout the solar system. So congratulations again, and long live American curiosity. Thank you. Let me thank all of you one more time. John Holder and I, unfortunately, have got to go boogie to go somewhere else. We're going to leave you in the, in the, in the very erstwhile hands of Charles Alachi and the technical team, and, and they've got a little bit more detailed stuff to tell you. So ha have a great night, and congratulations to all of you again.